watching your news tonight. Across Europe, face masks and hand sanitizer are largely tough to find or overpriced. The rights group Euroconsumers says pharmacies and online marketplaces are charging more than double what the items usually sell for. Els Bruggeman is the head of policy and enforcement at Euroconsumers and she joins me now. Thanks very much for joining the programme. Just how big a problem is this? Uh, well, just to give you an example, um, our organization in, in Belgium, Testasha, launched a platform where consumers could report uh, excessive prices, uh, which had uh, a huge response. And we had to, uh, we found that 50% of all the complaints that we got on, on abusive prices uh, actually relate to face mask uh, and hand gel, so protective measures. Uh, and while many of these abuses are on online marketplaces, on Facebook, or even in the supermarket, unfortunately, we also noticed that 50% uh, was reported in pharmacies. Just to give you a concrete example, um, on hand gels, we know that they are two to three times more than average, but we also had uh, a specific complaint about a teeny tiny bottle of hand gel, 250 milliliters, for 15 euros, um, uh, for, sorry, for even going up to 20 euros. When we then go to, to face masks, um, the, uh, the FF2P2 masks, uh, online they cost 6 uh, euro per piece, but we also had reports of, of face masks going up to 15 euro per piece. And then when you take into account the more basic surgical masks that usually cost only 10 to 30 cents, uh, we actually had a complaint of uh, a home for elderly people where they had to pay 700 euros for 120 masks at the pharmacist. It sounds just like such a callous thing to do because obviously people are scared during this pandemic. They want to get their hands on these goods and then to price gouge like that, it, it, to me, it just seems completely an immoral thing to do. But is there anything that the authorities can do to try and rein in these steep increases in prices? Well, we are talking about protective gear, a protective material that is really crucial for consumers to protect themselves against this awful virus. And in a normal well-functioning market, you wouldn't have this problem. You would have competitive prices. But of course, nowadays, uh, the market isn't well-functioning when it comes to uh, face masks and hand gels. There is a scarcity. We have a problem in the supply chain. And there were people, unfortunately, really taking abuse of this situation by asking uh, extraordinary prices to consumers. And we don't think that consumers should be a victim of this uh, on top of all the other financial losses that they are suffering. Now, of course, um, authorities can control and, 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 and search for excesses, but the problem is so huge and the market is so large that this wouldn't be sufficient. And, and that's why we would also call um, imposing a, a, a temporary uh, cap on these prices, some kind of a maximum price, until we can guarantee again that the market is functioning well. Els Bruggeman joining us there from Euro Consumers. Thank you very much.